weekend to kick off the season. Just did really pre-season how the team um, went and then had one. Yeah, I think um, it was a good reflection of our pre-season that we've had. Um, a lot of hard work. Um, I thought the team connection was really well, um, especially in defence, to hold a team like them to two tries. They only scored one um, when we had Hudson in the bin for being a naughty boy. Um, and then to hold them out for, you know, till the end, last two minutes, I think they scored, which was really pre pleasing for us, I think. Yeah, I think that's the challenge for us. Um, last year we tried to talk about consistency and we, we didn't deliver and um, we got an opportunity this week to go um, first home game of the year as well to put a big performance there um, to start the season 2-0 and would be really nice, so it's about backing it up. Your combination with um, Ethan Strange was really good all weekend. How did you see it? Yeah, it's good. Obviously I got him as a roomie now too, so I get to understand um, him a little bit more away from footy, which is really good for our um, relationship. But I thought, you know, Ethan's going to be a great player for the club. We just need to let him find his feet, give him 50, 60 games, and um, judge him from that. We can't judge him from, you know, a month of football or, or six weeks. We've got to give him some time. And the big inclusion was Fashion Chris back into the team this weekend. What does he bring? Yeah, Sebi brings a lot of energy to our team. Um, he's very fast as well with the um, ball in hand, so um, another strike weapon for us on the left edge. But I think um, his mindset defensively is going to stiffen up our edges as well, which is going to be good for the team. I know Ethan had, had a game already in NRL, but to now have one under his belt in the halves, how much is that going to help him moving forward? Yeah, I think he probably would have been nervous, as we all would have been. Um, first game in the number six jersey. Um, so hopefully all the nerves and jitters are gone for him. And obviously he's got another opportunity this week to to partner up with myself and like I said I just hope everyone gives him a little bit of time to find his feet um, I think he's going to be a great talent for us um, you know we just got to let him be Ethan. Looks like the Tigers have gone with a, a new rookie half as well like how do you guys approach that knowing that I guess you've got your own rookie half like do you look to target him this week or is it kind of going to be a case that they cancel each other out a little bit? Yeah well it's a little bit different to be honest because obviously they didn't play round one they had the buy so to see their combinations we actually don't have any um, video evidence to go off that so I think this week for us is just worrying about ourselves um, worrying about what we did last week trying to do that again um, this week defensively and hopefully our attack can come off the back of that um, you know I think when we look into other teams too much and all right let's get at this bloke we lose focus on that on the bigger picture so for us it's just more so the same as last week. For you like how nice is it to see that I know it's only been one game but that attack flourishing this year? Yeah, I think it was good. Obviously, we built it on the back of hard work, kicking to corners and making sure we gave ourselves an opportunity getting through our sets. Um, last year, we were kind of fumbling our way through tackle two, tackle three errors where I thought on the weekend we gave ourselves plenty of opportunities and hopefully we can do the same. And then the more opportunities we give ourselves, the more we can throw the ball around and, and play our style of football. So I think that's, that's the key for us moving forward.